My name is Rick Rebusil. I'm the Principal Consultant for Business Transition Consulting. Now, traditionally, strategic planning came as a separate activity. Strategic planning is planning long-term, three to five years out. Now, why is strategic planning important? It's important because if you don't know where you're going, then you have no idea of what to do the next day, the next hour, the next month. And the fact that you've set strategic goals, the fact that you have a path, that you know where you're headed, is invaluable. But what often happened with strategic planning is this, that the strategic plan ended up in a three ring notebook on a bookshelf someplace and was never really integrated into operational planning for the business. Many times people involved in the operational side of the business viewed strategic planning as a bit of a nuisance, something not really related to reality. The really big businesses, the large corporations, yes, they do an excellent job of planning. And in fact, that's what is attributable to most of their success. But many of the middle market and smaller businesses don't do planning. They don't do effective planning. They don't do written planning. They are managed in large part out of operational plans. The execution of an efficient business plan depends on the integration of strategic planning and operational planning. So how does that happen? One of the reasons that strategic planning is separate from operational planning is the format of the plan. It's as simple as that. Strategic plans tend to be PowerPoint presentations, long narratives put into three ring notebooks. And if those notebooks end up on a shelf, few of the people involved in doing the operational plans really see what the strategic plan was. They don't know what the long-term goal is. They just know what they have to do tomorrow or the next day or this month to meet their quota. What happens frequently is that the people in charge of operations, the people that are doing the productive work, know right away that a certain goal or a certain idea is not going to be reached. It's not practical. It doesn't meet with any of the requirements of reality. Yet that communication is not made to the people who are setting the strategic plan. Often those people are the owners. Those people have long-term goals and they have real reasons, significant reasons why they want those goals. But the goals really get changed by the operational people who know that the goals are impractical or unrealistic. So they just go ahead and do what they've always done. At the end of the year, uh, things are accounted for, things are looked at, strategic goals may or may not be altered, but the two remain separate. Strategic, that is long-term, and operational, short-term planning must be integrated. This can be done with a dynamic format. And what that simply means is that the long-term strategic planning, the setting of goals, and the setting forth of why those goals are important can be in the same document that the operational planning is done. The people that do the operational planning can be in communication with and talking to the strategic planners, often the owners of the business. With this kind of dialogue enabled, when a goal becomes unreasonable or is unreasonable to begin with, that dialogue should be begun immediately. There's no need to wait till the end of the year or when all the data is in. If the operational plan has appropriate metrics and is being monitored, there is no reason not to have the dialogue with the people who set the strategic goals about what's wrong with those goals. And if that dialogue is ongoing, then that makes the planning process dynamic. The planning process is understood to be the setting of goals, the actions taken to meet the goals, often called the action plan, monitoring 
the, those actions, often with metrics or other measurements or mileposts, to see how effective those actions are, and then a real, re realistic revision of the plan to meld with the experience of the plan. If this is done at different times by different people on different documents, then the plan cannot be said to be dynamic. However, if the plan is incorporated into one format, and if that format is dynamic, if it allows strategic planning and operational planning to meld, then the people doing the strategic plan can see what kind of goals they've set. Are these goals realistic? What is the reality of the experience of having those action plans executed to meet those goals? What are the metrics telling you right when they're happening? And do those goals need to be revised right away? The planning process, setting the goals, putting into effect the actions to meet the goals, monitoring those actions, and then revising the goals is a continual process. There's no reason to wait. It can be done as the plan is being executed. And this is what I mean by dynamic planning. There's a, a number of ways to accomplish dynamic planning, but the main thing is to look at the format of the plan. Does the format of the plan communicate the goal? Does it communicate the, all the action plans that are being taken? Does it have a way to communicate the failure of an action to satisfactorily make progress to a goal? If that format doesn't do that activity, if it doesn't completely fulfill that function, then the format is defective and something else needs to be done. Now, there's no magic to this format. The format can be as simple as a spreadsheet. What is important is that all of the activity from goals to actions, through metrics, to the reality of having to revise a goal be in one document and shown to all of those involved. And then, as I say, that document can be a spreadsheet. That document can be a more complicated document. Now, Microsoft has a Teamworks format that they use with their Azure cloud services. Uh, that Teamworks document is, is much like Slacker. There are a number of other business type communication documents that work very, very well for this purpose. There is no problem with finding a computer format that works for dynamic planning. In the past, people have taken a long time to generate a strategic plan. And that strategic plan has often been introduced and presented. And then, then there has been other planning done from that plan and so forth until Finally, action plans are put in place and starting to be measured by metrics and other monitoring. And at some point, then goals are starting to be revised. In today's business environment, and especially in a crisis situation, that format is no longer sufficient for effective business planning. Effective business planning demands a dynamic format, a format that integrates not only strategic planning, but operational planning. And all of that planning needs to be transparent to everyone involved in the planning process. That planning process, setting the goals, putting into action the ways to meet those goals, monitoring that action, and then revising the goals to accord with the reality of the experience of trying to reach those goals. 
can be done in a very short period of time. And when you do the strategic plan, when you set the goals initially, you don't have to be right. You don't have to be perfect because as you are trying to reach those goals, you can revise those goals and you can set new goals. There is no reason why you have to wait a year. You don't have to pull the three ring notebook off the shelf and see what you did last year. You can do it on a day by day basis if you want. But what that does is that when people in operations see that the goals are reasonable, that the goals are reachable, that the goals lead to something that aligns everyone's effort in the business, then you begin to see the harmonization of business effort. You begin to see strategy meld with operations. You begin to see the team concept become dynamic and visual. This is so important in today's business environment, and it's even more important when you have a crisis. When you have a crisis, you don't have the time to sit back and look at those goals. If the goals are ridiculous because of the crisis, revise them immediately and move on. And this is how businesses stay agile. This is how businesses move from theme to action, to revision, to reaction, and are quick and nimble about it. The dynamic planning process is the key to today's effective business planning. I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks.